In this Vidly vs Google Keyword Planner comparison video, I'm going to basically compare Vidly to Google Keyword Planner, tell you some of the pros of Vidly as well as the cons of Vidly, and then also tell you how that matches up against Google Keyword Planner. No matter how tech savvy you are, how much of a beginner you are to SEO or video SEO compared to how much of an expert you are when it comes to video SEO, you're going to be able to decide if Vidly is the software for you or if you should just stick with Google Keyword Planner. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in Google Keyword Planner. Now, Google Keyword Planner is a fantastic tool. It's the tool from Google, but it has limitations. One of them is a big one, which is in order to see the most accurate information, you need to be running a paid campaign with them. In other words, if you want to see the proper data and the actual monthly search results, you actually need to be running and spending money with them. Okay, so that's already a disadvantage, but let's quickly go ahead and type in, let's say plumbing services. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do get results. So here we are and uh, what you can actually see here is I do do paid advertising. So um, you can actually see it's showing the results, but right here, what it will actually show is zero to a thousand searches rather than just 1600 searches, okay? It also tells you what sort of competition you've got. Is it low? But they don't actually say whether or not they recommend you uh, ranking for this sort of keyword or utilizing this sort of keyword, okay? Uh, now, it also says that you can be paying anywhere from 90 99 pence per click to £6.44 per click, which again can make your budgets all over the place. In fact, it's actually not the greatest way of, you know, seeing paid advertising or trying to get an idea of what you should be spending or even what you should be ranking for. Now, as you can see, as we scroll down, it's giving you, you know, variations of plumbing service. So it's got 24 hour plumber, a uh, clog drain plumbing services near me and these are actually pretty decent keywords so you can actually get some nice little keywords um you know or some inspiration when it comes to keywords and you can see it's showing you you know block drain is 9900 searches per month based in the U uk okay um but another thing that it doesn't do, it doesn't really show you what our competition are doing. So if you're fairly new to this area um, or you're doing some competitor analysis, it's not really, you know, gonna synchronize that information for you to say, oh, well, you know, if my competitors are doing it, that's great. In order to get that sort of information, you really need to start diving deep into keyword research. And let's face it, uh, we don't always, as a small, medium-sized business, have time to be doing that, which is why we outsource for massive amounts of money. Another really nice thing that you can do with Google Keyword Planner is actually put in a website and it will try and find the uh, keywords from that website. So I'm just gonna quickly type in plumbing services and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this website just like so and I'm gonna paste it in and I'm just gonna say use this page only. Okay, so what you can see is that this page um, is currently ranking or has these sort of keywords on their website. So you can see this site is probably getting a fair bit of traffic. The keywords that they're ranking for is in fact pretty decent. Uh, you can see that people or other firms are actually paying £1.98 to rank for like emergency plumber and stuff like that. Now, another really cool thing that you can do with Google Keyword Planner is if you go to the last 12 months, you can actually filter and try and spot trends over a period of time um you know so let's just go instead of 12 months let's go with last 24 months okay and like you can see you can see how consistent this search phrase actually is so you can actually see right here if i hover over you can see that in 2018 still had a steady 1000 plus searches per month and if we hover over and carry on going you can see that every single month almost every single month it's jumping in traffic so if you're a plumber for whatever reason the search volume of uh, plumbing services is rising in the UK so it's a fantastic time to start ranking your business for this particular keyword but you can also see that uh, plumbers near me which is often used in comparison sites or what's not are utilizing this tool uh, just a general keyword plumbing so 
all of these keywords, if we're going to look at the majority of it, you can actually see that plumbing services is on a rise. And another sort of bit of information you can get from Google Keyword Planner is this here, which is search volume trains, uh, trends, breakdown by platform, breakdown by location. So let's go ahead and do breakdown by location. And what you can see in England, there's an 84% search rate, Scotland, 7%, Wales, 3%, Northern Ireland, 1%. So for plumbing services, you can actually see that England is your best target. Now, and again, you can use all of this to start forming your campaigns. If we do breakdown by platforms, you can see that mobile is dominating by 55%, but you've also got desktop people searching for 36% and you've got people on tablet searching for 8%, which, which actually means that, you know, if you've got a website or a landing page, you really want to be optimizing it for your mobile. So all of this is really great information to really narrow down down what sort of search traffic this actually is and whether or not you want to be targeting you know plumbing services but we only have so much time in this video so let's go ahead and jump over to Viddly also known as Video Marketing Blaster. Okay so here we are in the keyword area of Viddly okay so what you can see is a nice snapshot not too much overwhelming information and to your left here you can enter your keyword so again Let's go ahead and enter plumbing services, okay? Now, again, we don't want worldwide traffic because this is gonna be a local, uh, you know, search phrase. So I'm just gonna type in United Kingdom. Where do we want to filter the results? Now, this is actually really nice because now we're getting more accurate with our search data. So instead of, you know, searching the entirety of Google and, you know, where the traffic's actually being divided up from, which is what Google doesn't do, here it does do it so you can see where it says search sources youtube competitors google amazon ebay so if you're an amazon marketer if you have an amazon store if you're an affiliate marketer or you're doing something with amazon you can actually filter the results to only see the search traffic on amazon how great is that okay now i only want to know what's going on on youtube what my competitors are doing and google so again i'll just go ahead and click research and you can see here it's finding all that information and in like less than 30 seconds we now have all of these results now here's one of the really good things about vidly compared to google keyword planner and vidly actually filter the most buyer intent or relevant searches for your needs, okay? Because let's face it, unless you're trying to grab viral traffic, which as a local small medium business owner, you're not really after that, you're after people with an, an actual intent to take out your services, okay? And that's when you wanna grab them. So this is only showing those sort of keywords. So already you don't need to filter, you know, from, basically millions of search phrases because you know that the majority of these keywords will be somewhat relevant to what you're after. So let's just have a quick look. Another nice thing that it does is it does show you uh, the almost exact searches per month and it also recommends whether or not you want to be using this search phrase for your campaign, okay? So that's pretty nice. Now, it, you can actually see source here. And if I just zoom in, you can see that we've got source right here. Now, this means that this has been searched on Google. And if we keep scrolling, you can see this has been searched on YouTube. Now, I know you may not want to have that as a title for your videos, but actually this could be, if, you, if you're based in California or what's not, this could be a golden keyword for you because this could be a golden keyword for you because what are the chances of other people adding just that keyword into their description or into their post or whatever? It's very, very slim because why would someone put that in? But for some reason, someone is searching for these searches. Now, these are what our competitors are, you know, ranking for, you know. So it shows you a breakdown of, you know, where this search data is actually coming from and whether or not it's actually worthwhile. Now, another thing that you can do, which isn't the most ethical of ideas, um, but it happens. And sometimes, you know, if you want to play the game, you've got to, you know, really get in there and start utilizing everything and so this is the name of a company here and for whatever reason they're ranking pretty well and people are searching for their company so you can actually hijack their traffic just by 
ranking for their name better than they do, okay? And it's actually really easy, and I cover all of that in my course found in the uh, link below, completely free, um, and I, I reckon you'll probably love it. Okay, so that's basically the, the keyword section of Viddly, but one last thing I want to introduce you to, which is the video details. Now, with the video details, this will actually optimize the text for you. So it will take, and you can actually see that it's automatically taken the most relevant keywords and created titles and descriptions and included our URL right here okay and it does that at the flick of it at the click of a finger for you okay so that's Vidly verse Google Keyword Planner now as you can tell there's actually so much you can do with both of these tools because in one hand Google Keyword Planner is absolutely free unless you want accurate data and then you need to pay for the campaigns Vidly isn't free but then again it also does more like it automatically generates the video details for you as well as a few other nice features that Google Keyword Planner doesn't do. Ultimately what I would suggest is you actually use both these tools together okay because even though Vidly will give you you know, idea, inspiration, and what's not. Sometimes it's always nice to get, just to reaffirm your decisions when it comes to keyword research using the master of the tool, which is Google, you know, because let's not forget, Vidly will, or Video Marketing Blaster will get part of that information from Google because they're all interlinked and that's where it's ultimately scraping its information from. It just matches and compares the information in a better format for you. So what I would do is I would actually start off with Google Keyword Planner, search for some information, take those keywords that you'd never really thought of and put that into Vidly and let that generate all the buyer intent and searches that you probably wouldn't be able to find or would struggle finding in Google Keyword Planner. I do hope you enjoyed this video and in the next video I'm going to be talking in greater detail about the video detail tab and how that actually works and why that works and you know the advantages of it. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the notify button so you don't miss out on that video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.